Well, the future remains uncertain for a popular restaurant in downtown Rochester, which caught fire last week, but all its employees still have an opportunity to make a living as the owner makes adjustments. Alex Love spoke to the business and reports with how you can also help to get them back on their feet. Venito Pizza and Pasta has been a popular spot when going out to eat in Rochester for more than 20 years, but after surviving the pandemic, their doors are forced to close again due to a fire, but management is determined to keep their staff employed. As the Venito wood-fired pizza and pasta off East Avenue sits dark and empty, owner Donald Swartz quickly decided to move the staff to his other location off Buffalo Road, so this fire doesn't put them out of a job. Some of the staff has been there for close to two decades working, so ultimately it's not my staff, that's our family, and we're going to do everything possible to, to keep them employed. We're going to open up their west side location seven days a week. On top of being open every day off Buffalo Road, Swartz will extend his hours Thursday and Friday by opening up at noon to offer lunch specials, giving hourly employees more shifts. It could take up to a year or two, you know, rebuild that uh, facility. Uh, so in the meantime, either temporarily or permanently move the downtown location somewhere else to keep, keep things moving along keep our customers happy, and most importantly, keeping our staff happy. We all kind of, you know, in different times spoke to each other, and it was, we do still have a restaurant, and it's only open X amount of hours. Let's, let's double that. Let's keep everybody working. We have good faith that our customers and regulars in the community will help. When the fire was put out, Swartz learned it destroyed most of the kitchen and storage area, so the building will have to be closed for most of 2023. Although finding another downtown location seems possible, transferring his liquor license and other permits could take months. That could take six to eight months. I'm praying that um, the state liquor authority understands our situation and is able to do what they need to do to make sure the liquor license um, gets transferred over timely. Online, the New York State Liquor Authority says the review process for applicants can take anywhere from 22 to 26 weeks. However, there are ways for retail businesses to seek temporary permits to open and begin the sale of alcoholic beverages, which can be done in less than 30 days. Reporting in Rochester, Alex Love, News 8. Thank you for that report, Alex. No one was reportedly injured in this fire, but the cause of it still remains under investigation. The Wall Street bar and grill next door also suffered damage and remains closed until further notice due to this fire.